Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about TD Bank and more specifically, we're talking about how to set up your TD Bank direct deposit. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, if you're not familiar with TD Bank, it is one of the largest banking institutions here in the US. I believe they're international, possible, possibly they are from Canada, but I'm not too sure. If you happen to know, be sure to leave a comment below. But why would you want to set up direct deposit with your TD Bank account? Well, that's pretty easy. Direct deposit is an easy way to get paid, usually from your employer, or if you do contracting work, some businesses will pay you through direct deposit. With the direct deposit, TD Bank would be able to accept the payment from your employer or whatever business you're working for, and usually the funds are available immediately once they're deposited. The nice thing about that is that you don't have to wait for a paper check to go to you in the mail, and then you don't have to go to the bank to make a deposit or the ATM. And more importantly, you don't have to wait in line at the bank when you have direct deposit to cash your paycheck. Also, if you receive a paper check and you deposit it into your bank account, sometimes the bank will put a hold onto it and that can slow things down quite a bit. Sometimes even seven to 14 days, which is not convenient. With direct deposit, you're gonna need a couple of different things to get that set up with your TD bank. The first thing you're gonna need is a direct deposit form. Usually you can get that from your employer. They will have that form for you. If not, you can go to the TD Bank website and download a general form from TD Bank. I found this link here in the TD Bank website. Be sure to check my video description. I'll try to leave the exact link there. But here's the title to this article. It's called Direct Deposit TD Bank. You're also gonna need your account number, your routing number, and your employer information in order to set up your direct deposit. So let me go ahead and switch over to the direct deposit form from TD Bank and we'll go over that together. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit further and right here is direct deposit authorization form. So let me go ahead and click there now. All right, I went ahead and pulled up the information for this TD Bank direct deposit form and all you're gonna need is fill out this second portion right here. So you wanna fill out your employee name and address, that's you employee phone number, once again, that's you, your employee ID and social security number, and that's how the HR department can identify you as an employee. You may or may not need that depending on the size of employer. If you work with someone who works maybe two or three different employees, probably not gonna need that, but sometimes employers have thousands of employees, so they do need to have that information. Next, you wanna go ahead and fill out the direct deposit amount. So you can either choose the entire check or a percentage or a certain dollar amount of your check to be deposited. Next, you wanna fill out this next portion. It's already been filled out, which is TD Bank, the bank name. They've already put their address in there. However, you do need to put your routing number and your account number, and also what type of account that you have. Now, you might be wondering how to get your routing number and your account number. That's pretty easy. Basically, you just wanna log into your TD Bank online mobile banking, and then go to your account summary. That should include your account number and your routing number. If you're unable to find that, what you wanna do is go ahead and pull up a paid canceled check inside your mobile banking, and that will pull up an image of a check that you've written out. So for example, if you paid for a car, paid for a mortgage, or maybe wrote a check out to somebody, that image will be in your account history. Once you print that out, you'll be able to see your routing number and account number. The routing number is usually the bottom left-hand side of your check, and it's generally nine digits long. Just keep in mind that sometimes those routing numbers can be in the middle of the check on the bottom. One thing I do wanna know about having direct deposit with TD Bank is depending on your employer, it can take two to three different pay cycles before that is completely set up. So in the meantime, you're usually gonna still receive a paper check, so just be aware of that. But with my experience, direct deposits usually set up within one to two pay cycles. If you have a different experience than that, be sure to leave a comment below, let the rest of us know. So again, be sure to check the video description. I'll try to leave a link to this form there. Hopefully you found the video useful. If so, click thumbs up and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.